How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. After we've taken a few hours to catch our breath from the polls from boxes one and two of Japanese Blue Shock, we are going to dive into box number three right now. Oh man, I can't even imagine what could possibly be in this box, because after the first two, I'm not sure I can handle another amazing pull. But, good golly, I'm going to try. I do it for you guys. Just kidding, these cards have been amazing, and I'm so glad to add them to my collection. I'm still missing the holographic Meloetta and Haxorus from this set. I'm also missing the floor... No, I'm not missing the floor just break. I'm missing the Mega Glalie EX. And of course, there's always secret rare and ultra rare work to do. Let's get things started off right, shall we? We're going to put that back a little bit. There we go. We're going to have a Vanillux, Ghastly, um, Scatterbug. I always want to call them Spewbook because they're both stupid names. Uh, Scatterbug, uh, Vanillish, and hey, out of the very first pack, that is the Meloetta Hollow that I didn't have already. So that is a solid pull right there. Great design on this. Just absolutely tremendous. And just such a classy look. We're just going to start chewing through these packs, guys. We have Behem, Teddy Ursa, Sandshrew, Simipor, and Glalie Spiritling. I'm aiming to keep most of my box openings from here on out, aside from any of the ridiculous games that I play. Ten minutes or less, if I can help it. Fracture, Cyndaquil, Elgium, Simipor, and another Glalie Spiritling. It's kind of funny. Uh, just because I know that interest tends to wane a little bit after the first couple of boxes, and it steadily declines after that. So we have Sandslash, Akshu, Sandshrew, Quilava, and another Vivalon 3 for 3 on those. So as a result, I feel like if I keep the runtime a little bit down, keep my videos a little sh more short, more concise, you guys are more likely to click on them and watch all the way through rather than watch me just bore over some of the cards. Parallel City, Woobat, Vanillite, there's Spupa, and the Gran Bull. Usually around box four or five is where I start to hit my stride. Uh, Ursaring, Teddy Ursa, Scatterbug, Remoraid, and there is the Florgis Break. Already pulled one of these guys, but it's nice to be able to see it again. Here we go. Nice look at that card. Potential thumbnail material. Future note for myself. If you guys didn't know, I oftentimes, well, I hardly ever will put a secret rare or an ultra rare in the thumbnail of a video. Smeargle, Pansage, Snubble, Swoobat, and Rainbow Energy. I just feel like that's giving away the, the main part of it. And I don't want to criticize people who do that, because I understand. And you know what? It brings in views. It gets people to click on your video. Glalie EX, where is your regular mega form? Make me meet him. And I totally get that. And YouTubers gotta make money, and I feel the exact same way. But personally, I don't... I, I prefer... We'll put it this way. I prefer the um, the ability of people who are watching my videos to not know anything about the... Oh, there's the Haxorus. So now I'm done with the holo set. Anything about the major, major pulls that could await them. So by not posting them at all, it always keeps people in suspense about what could lurk behind any particular box. Again, not throwing shade at people who do that. It's just not my thing. Uh, Florgis, Vanillish, Cacnea, Doduo, and Mewtwo Spiritlink. Next pack gives me Haunter, Panpour, Simi Sage, Zorua, and Bridget. So, my question for you guys is now that X and Y8 has been released, what is the EX card that you most wish they would make? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys have to say about that. 
because maybe it's a Sand Slash EX. Who knows? Uh, there's Vanillish, Teddy Ursa, Sand Shrew, and Cacturn. You guys know my answer is going to be Suicune EX, especially because they already made Tyranitar plus its Mega, and they already made... Well, they're going to be making Gyarados and his Mega in Anger of the Broken Heavens, X and Y9, in December. So you get Fracture, another Simipore, Doduo, LGM, and there's the Zoroark break. So, very interesting to get two breaks in one box. I knew it was possible. I certainly knew it would happen at some point, but interesting to see it happen. I wonder if it's more or less likely than what getting two Ace Specs in a box was like back when Ace Specs were a thing, you know, back at that time when they put Holographic on a trainer and have it replace an EX. Speaking of which, Flintstone, <laughs> Vanillite, Hoot Hoot, Woobat, and what glossy gloss might await us behind here? Finally! <laughs> it's the Mega Glalie EX. Oh boy. I kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye and I knew it wasn't a full art, but even so, got to check out that awesome cryo mouth. So we're going to have a look at him for a second. While I do prefer the full art artwork, this one is still pretty darn cool. Just like a smashing a window kind of Pokemon. It just it looks really nice. Of course, uh, any uh, any Pokemon with an attack that could potentially do 250 damage is uh, always a pretty awesome threat. So here we have a Noctowl, Cyndaquil, Spupa, Axew, and Haunter. Hoping this is going to be one of them 5 EX or better boxes. So we got double Glalie, we got double Break. Maybe we can pull a regular Mewtwo full art. Uh, Behem, Magnemite, Floet, uh, Ghastly, and a Zoroark Hollow. Cool stuff. I think there might be one card left to pull. There we have Vanillux, Snubble, uh, Pansage, Labebe, and Mewtwo Spirit Link. I should really just start saying Monkey for all the pans and the semis. It just slows me down so much. Uh, here we have a Bridget, getting our Anna Kendrick pose on. Uh, there we have a Scatterbug, Swoobat, Chespin, and Cacturn. Two more packs to go. Hoping for something. Hoping for something. But we've already done so well in the last two boxes. I won't be depressed if I don't. So, we got a Pinsir. We've got a Pan Pour. We have a Quilava, a Zorua, and a Xerneas Hollow. Awesome stuff. Really like this card. They really stepped up their Hollow art game in this particular set. We are on the last pack. I don't think there's anything in here. But Hope Springs Eternal, guys. Unless, of course, you've been counting how many hollows I've pulled, and then you know whether this is a good card or not. And we have Florges, Cacnea, Remoraid, uh, Pans, Pans, no, Simi Sage. Come on, stupid. And a Mewtwo EX. <laughs> All right, so it's not a, not a full art, not an ultra rare. Actually, surprisingly, is limiting me to two out of five secret rares and ultra rares out of my first five boxes. Two out of five. That's, that's pretty low. But given the fact that I'm pulling so frequently just amazing cards, and given the fact that every box has had four or more inside of it, I got no issue with that. Also, please to report this video is under 10 minutes. Hooray! Holographic pulls in this part were focus on Meloetta's face. There we go. Meloetta, Vivalon, Xerneas, Zoroark, and Haxorus. Also got the break cards for Zoroark and Florges. Managed to pull the Glalie EX, the Mewtwo EX, and finally that regular Mega Glalie EX to round out that part of the set. Guys, thank you ever, ever, ever so much for watching. You know I appreciate your support. If you want to show a little bit of extra support, leave a comment below. Let me know what EX you'd like to see in a future set. Leave a like button. And we'll hit the like button. It's already there. Leave it there and hit it. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Stick around, and I hope I don't disappoint you, because I try not to. And I'm going to continue to try not to when I open that box of red flash over there, see if we can get off the schneid.